Hey guys, it's Jeff and today let's take a look at iOS 12.1 betas and what we might be seeing next, the official release date of iOS 12.1 and also some long-term performance results running beta 4. This tech review video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X, which is a program that I've been using to keep my Mac running as fast as day one and also free from any malware. Clean My Mac X can improve your computer speed to run up to four times faster, improve app responsiveness, and clear junk from your hard drive, giving you more space to work with. To learn more and check out the program for yourself, head over to Clean My Mac using the link in the description below. Okay, so we have iOS 12.1 beta 4 right now, and first, let's just go over performance over the past few days. So far, I'm having a really good experience, actually. Everything is operating quite smoothly, and as I said in my beta release video, all of the force touch controls seem to be working faster, and the UI actually feels much faster than iOS 12. So with that being said, we now just have bugs and performance to talk about. So onto the bugs. There actually isn't too many of them. The bugs I've been experiencing are simply from apps not necessarily optimizing their UI for the iPhone XS Max or just not having full iOS 12 support yet. So far, the connectivity bugs affecting LTE, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth aren't an issue, and I'm really just not seeing any bugs that are actually worth mentioning. Now, past the bugs, we are definitely seeing a major difference in battery life. Battery life is so much better on beta 4 and this is really putting my mind at ease because even with the iPhone XS Max, the battery life has been really, really poor on previous betas. So long-term battery performance is great and I'm really enjoying a much longer battery life with beta 4. So we've talked about the beta 4 performance, let's talk about a possible release date for the official version of iOS 12.1. Well, as you may know, Apple announced their October 30th event where we are set to see the new iPad Pro lineup and possibly more from Apple. So with that being said, we might be seeing iOS 12.1 come out on that date at the event, or you may see it come on November 1st, which is a Thursday. Nevertheless, the iPad Pro will most likely release on the 2nd of November, which is a Friday, and I'm sure Apple wants to have iOS 12.1 up and running by then. So with that release and another week of beta testing left, will we see a beta 5? I personally think that we will. So what will we be seeing in this beta version? Well, Apple definitely gave up a lot of performance and speed in benchmarks to achieve the fluidity that we are seeing within beta 4. Maybe we'll just see a tad bit more on the benchmarks with speed in mind, but whilst maintaining the stability that we have now. I'm also really looking forward to seeing a possible surprise release of the ECG feature with watchOS 5.1 beta 5 and iOS 12.1 beta 5. My fingers are seriously crossed for that feature because it's an awesome feature and would really just take the usefulness of the Apple Watch Series 4 to the next level. The last thing that we might be seeing is more wallpapers for iOS 12. Now, those would be specific to iOS, so not necessarily limited to any specific device, so even users of older iDevices would essentially have access to those. We saw a ton of wallpapers in iOS 11.2, but as we only have one iOS 12 specific static wallpaper right now, I do expect to see a ton of wallpapers coming to iOS 12.1, especially with the October event right around the corner. So guys, that is sort of a quick look at performance on beta 4, some analysis on an iOS 12.1 release date, and of course, what we might be seeing in our next beta version. So if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest, make sure to get subscribed and also leave a comment down below if you have anything to say about what we discussed today. So thank you all for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.